more Angel Reese against Caitlin Clark stuff. We saw it again, people. It, it was ugly. So, it was ugly. Flagrant fla foul, uh, Angel Reese. She's going for the ball. Now, here's my thoughts. And, and you guys, feel free to weigh in. Angel Reese is going for the ball. I don't think she meant to hit her in the head. I think she probably meant to foul her, but I don't think she meant to hit her in the head because you hit her in the head pretty hard. But here's what nobody wants to talk about. Angel Reese is not athletic. So her trying to go block a shot like that, she had no chance to block a shot. And she hit her in the head. Flagrant one. Deserved it. it is what it is. She deserved it. But the rest got the call right. That's number one. So you move on from there. But then Angel Reese, after the game, blaming the refs, saying the refs got in the way. I know they don't find WNBA players because they don't make much money, but I would find her ass. You know, it, talking about the refs cost them the game, the refs were bad. If that's an NBA player, they're losing 100 grand. You know, if that was a coach, they're getting 100 grand. You know, I'm, I'm clearly, I'm not telling you to find her a hundred grand. They don't even make that. But find her something. Let them feel it. Hey, man, if it's good for WNBA players, it's got to be good for them too. And it was a flagrant foul. So it was a flagrant foul. She fouled her. She blamed the refs on why they got beat. How about you're just not a very good basketball team? That could be it. You know, that could be it. They're just not a very good basketball team. I, I just, let's just say that. Let's just call truth what's truth. They're not any good. And the Indiana Fever are better than them. And they beat them twice. Close games, but they beat them twice. So. And my man Jay says the WNBA is a joke, especially how they dropped the ball with CC and the Team USA. Well, Jay, you do know that Team USA and WNBA have absolutely nothing to do with each other, correct? You do know that. So while I agree she should have been on the team, the Olympic Committee doesn't work for the WNBA. So they don't work for each other. So... Do I think Caitlin Clark is having an impressive rookie year? I wouldn't say impressive. I think she's doing fine. I think she's doing fine. But I was never one of those guys that thought that Caitlin Clark was going to come in and dominate the WNBA. I never thought that. I was never one of those guys that said that Caitlin Clark was the greatest college basketball player ever, the greatest woman's player. Yeah, I was never that guy. And if you all have paid attention, you all, you all have been here, you know that I've never said she was. Never thought that, never believed it. I'm not saying she can't be, but she wasn't the greatest college basketball player ever. That that wasn't true. Then can she be the greatest WNBA player? Of course she can. Sure. Will she be? Probably not. But that doesn't mean she can't be. And quite as kept, I'm actually rooting for her to be. Because I don't want to see the league fold. I don't. I don't want to see the lead fold. So, I just don't. Uh, Tristan, be careful who you're calling boy, man. Let's let's not do that, okay? Let's not do that. Better yet, let, let's just do this. Lord have mercy. Some people, you give them an inch, and they take a mile. But, yeah, I like Caitlin Clark. I think her, her rookie year is going fine. Um, the Angel Reese, classless move. Now, I know there's going to be people that jump on this and say that she's classless. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying what she did was class. And not the foul. The foul was basketball. The foul was absolutely basketball. She's going for it. She, it's a hard foul. That's what happens, man, in basketball. There's hard fouls. Caitlin Clark is not immune to that. Neither is anybody else, by the way. Angel Reese included, because she's been fouled hard. It's okay. It happens in basketball. But after the game is where the classless came into play. Blaming refs, saying people got 
a certain whistle. Come give me a break. You hit somebody in the head. What are you talking about? Oh, it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, nobody said it was a big deal. All you had to say was, yeah, I hit her. I, I was going for the ball. It was a basketball play, but clearly it was a flagrant foul. I got to be better. Move on. When have you ever heard Angel Reese ever say, I've got to be better? Let me just ask you that. When have you ever heard her say, yeah, I have to be better? I'll, that's all I'm saying. I think she's a good player. I don't think she's very athletic, but I think she's a very good player. But she's got to do better. You know, she doesn't have to give a sound bite at every press conference and speaking for for her. So, yes, she said the refs had a magic whistle. I'm like, just shut up and play. Gee, many Christmas. So, so we're talking about Pat Cockrell. My man Pat Cockrell says, speaking for myself, I only know Angel Reese, who Angel Reese is because of her outward hatred of Caitlin Clark. Well, that's not really true, Pat. You know her because she was the finals MVP of the 2023 NCAA tournament. And she was very good in that tournament. That's why you know her. Let's not say that her outward hatred for Caitlin Clark. What did she do in that game? She got in her face after they won and rubbed it in her face. Well, that don't mean you hate somebody. So, and so maybe she should be grateful for, for giving her a name. Yeah, Pat, that's, that's, that's pretty weak, my man. That's pretty weak. <laughs> Angel Reese didn't need her to give her a name. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people watched that basketball game in 2023. Caitlin Clark lost that game, and Angel Reese played outstanding. So, and you can say, well, they were only watching to see Caitlin Clark, and that might be true, but if she wasn't there, people still would have watched, and they'd know who she is. Would her name be as big? Probably not. So you're probably right there, but Caitlin Clark didn't give her her name. Don't go that route. That, that's just blatant disrespect. Come on, man. You're better than that. You're better than that. And I don't think anybody, and, and maybe they're jealous of Caitlin Clark or the, all the attention she gets, but that doesn't mean they have to hate her. I, I don't think anybody hates her. So, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that, that anybody gave anybody anybody's name, man. Come on, Pat. You're, you're, you got to be better than that, bro. Gee, many Christmas. Like I said, Angel Reese is crazy. And I think she's got to be better with the sound bites and the press conference. First of all, she got to be a better player, but she's not playing bad either. I mean, she's averaging a double double, you know, with very, very limited athletic ability. Nobody wants to talk about that with Angel Reese. Like, Angel Reese is not strong. I think she's got a lot of, of strength that she can build upon. She's not strong. She is definitely not athletic. She is not athletic at all. Look at the way she runs or the way she jumps. You know, Angel Reese is, is not strong. She's not athletic. She's still averaging a double-double in a woman's league where there are a lot of strong, athletic women. So she's doing okay. She knows how to play basketball. Jealous of the attention? Yeah. Is she, is she upset? That She may be upset because her team isn't any good. That's part of it. Nobody wants to talk about that and just speak the truth. The Chicago Sky stink. Just like the Indiana Fever, they stink. <clears throat> you know, the Fever have, what, five wins? And they've all come against, what, Chicago and Washington? Teams that stink? <laughs> well, there you go. And the Atlanta Dream, who's it terrible? So that's what I'm talking about. It just just speak the facts on what we know, on what we know. Y'all know how we do it here, man, on what we know. My man Austin, the Fever and Sky are both bad, which makes all of this kind of frustrating. Yes, WNBA is hanging on to their storylines for its life. Yeah, yeah. And the one thing, Austin, you're 100% right, and another thing that hurts them is that Asia Wilson is the best player in the league. No question about it. But the Las Vegas Aces are playing bad this year. So you can't even say, hey, 
Look at the best player in the league. Look what her team is doing. The WNBA can't even hold on to that. They're like, oh, my God, Aces, what is going on? Let's go. You got the best player in the league. We got the eyeballs. Let's go. And they can't do it. They can't do it. So that hurts. It's ugly, man. It's, it's ugly. It's ugly. So that's a great point, Austin. Great point. So. Mm-mm-mm. Angel Reese, attitude, gets much-needed eyes and column inches for WNBA. I, I, that's not a bad take. Not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. Don't think it's it's a bad take at all. You know? And and who knows what, what people have said for her to do. Who knows what that is. All I know is yesterday was not her finest hour. That she didn't have a great day. They got beat, frustrated because you can't beat this team. That isn't very good. Aaliyah Boston ate her and uh, Camila Cardosa, ate them alive. And Caitlin Clark had a really good game. You had a blatant foul that you knew, or a flagrant foul that you knew is going to be played all over the airwaves, all around the country for the next three or four days. You know that. And instead of you just saying, hey, man, it was a flagrant foul. It was a basketball play, but I hit her. The right call was made. Let's move on. We have to be better. At some point, Angel Reese has to just say stuff like that and stop saying, I'm responsible for people watching WNBA basketball. It wasn't just one person. Okay. We know that. I mean, what are you trying to say that to try to get what? I, I just don't understand that. I don't understand that. I, I have no problems with people being arrogant. I don't. But it's also got to be in context. It's got to make sense. Not a fine day for Angel Reese yesterday. Not a fine day. Playing well as a rookie. You got to give her that. But yesterday was not one of her finest hours. 